Toyota, tough trucks, right? <laughs> it looks like your car on a Monday. There's still debris on the hood. After a ski weekend in the mountains. You know, I noticed a few things I thought might be scratches, but it looks like they're coming right off, actually. Snow wedged in the wheel is the only sign this truck was almost buried. It's my Toyota. I guess you could say it's my savior. Sean Goldman did, did pretty well. Was driving on I-70 Sunday. Yeah, we left at 430. Heading home from Copper Mountain with his wife, Tram, and their daughter, Kiera. And she was like, mommy, mommy, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I was I was like, what, what? And I looked to the right and I saw it coming and I was like, Sean, Sean, avalanche, avalanche. Their two dash cams were rolling. Here it comes. And so was the wave of snow. Just blasts us. When the impact hit us, you know, it was loud. It was complete white out. We couldn't see anything. I basically just let my foot off the gas and coasted, and I was trying to just try to predict where the road would be and stay on the road, and I was hoping that I wouldn't hit a car in front of me. This is the road we're looking at. You breathe a little deeper <sighs> after surviving an avalanche. The avalanche hit us, pushed us, straight sideways off the road. It would take them more than six hours to get home. Worst driving experience ever. <laughs> They'll return to the mountains, but they may pass on the next powder day. You know, every once in a while you kind of think about it and you go, wow, that, we just lived through an avalanche. For next, I'm Noel Brennan.